When you think about college football, Division I programs like Alabama probably come to mind. Very rarely is Division III football talked about. Everybody knows the lavish lifestyle that D1 players live, but very few people understand the life of a Division III football player. And unless you played D3 football or you know someone that played, you probably have a lot of assumptions about it. Many people believe the narrative that D3 football is garbage. They think the players are garbage and overall the division as a whole sucks. And that is just not the case at all. If you are new to the channel, my name is Richie Murphy. I'm a Division Three college football player. So who better to talk about Division Three sports than me? So if you want to learn more about the lifestyle and how we live in Division Three, go down, hit the subscribe button. But let's get into the biggest myths about Division Three football. D3 football players put in nearly as much time as Division I football players and they get pretty much no respect or credit for doing so. When you look at Division I workouts, off-season workouts, lifts, runs, stuff like that, Division Three is doing the same thing. They just don't get paid through scholarships for doing so. So, in my opinion, playing D3 is probably even more notable than playing D1. You're literally putting in the same work but you don't get to reap the benefits. And that brings us into our next myth. Division three football players cannot get drafted and they don't want to play professionally. While it's definitely true, there are fewer D3 football players in the NFL than D1 or D2, there are still some D3 players that get drafted. A great example is Quinn Miners. He was from UW-Whitewater. He got drafted in the third round of the Broncos a couple years ago, and that dude is an absolute dog. If you think that guy couldn't play D1, you're definitely wrong, and you don't know football. That guy is a menace. He could play at any level he wants. While I'll definitely say that most D1 football players, they probably want to play at the next level in the NFL, whereas Division Three football players, they understand that they're probably not going to make it to the NFL. However, there are definitely still some people that want to make it to the NFL, and D3 is just their route of getting there. Like, I understand I'm 5'8", and I'm a cornerback, and I'm also white. I'm probably not going to go to the NFL, and I 100% have accepted that, but that doesn't mean I can't play a sport in college because I love it. I literally play because I love it. I'm passionate about it. And I want to keep competing in football at a high level. D3 was my option and I took it. And I'm trying to make the best out of my situation. I saw a video on YouTube saying D3 sports are a scam. And they kind of assumed that every single D3 football player wants to make it to the NFL. And that's their goal. And that's their reason for playing D3 football. I'd say about 90% of Division III football players are playing it because they love the game. There's no scholarships. Oftentimes, D3 football players have to pay a fee to the football program in order to play. And you just don't see that at the other levels like D1 or D2. We are playing this sport because we love it and we want to compete. We are not playing D3 football to get recognition or to get the high praise that D1 players get. We have very limited benefits at D3. We don't have as nice of facilities. We don't have as nice of anything really, but we're still playing because we love football. And going on to the next myth that we're gonna bust, Division three football does not have a large fan base. Comparatively to Division one, obviously no. Not as many people care about D3 football as Division I or D2 even. But there's still some people like in a community that support their college. They go to every game and it's just a cool atmosphere to be a part of. I will actually say that this myth is true because you don't have as many fans at games. For the most part, no. D3 does not have a very large fan base. And some people say that there's no money in Division Three football, and that's our fourth myth. And that's not the case. Division Three schools, the high programs, they bring in a lot of money. Just because Division Three doesn't offer scholarships, that does not mean that there isn't money in it. Coaches get paid, trainers get paid, and schools get paid because of D3 football. If you're trying to go to a D3 college and you're interested in sports, you're probably going to go to a school that has a good football team. You're probably more likely to go to the school with the good athletics than the bad. And I think at public D3 schools, all the coaches' salaries are public. So if you wanted to go look at some of the top D3 coaches and what they get paid, you can definitely live off of that. So it's not like there's no money in D3. 
going off to the fact that some people think that D3 football is just trash as a whole. Obviously, there's a variety in talent levels between programs, conferences. The conference that I play in is the number one D3 football conference in the nation. Year after year, we almost have five teams ranked in the top 25 in the nation. So that's what I know from D3 football. Obviously, there are smaller schools in D3 that are not very good at football because they haven't been able to build up their program. But you see that in every single division. D1, there's some D1 schools that are garbage. And I think that a good D3 could be a horrible D1 school. There is a little fluctuation in talent level. Pretty much to conclude this video, every experience that I've had in D3 football has been awesome. Pretty much the first day I got to campus as a football player, I met my best friends that I'll probably have for the rest of my life. And that's probably my favorite thing about playing football is the brotherhood that you form between your teammates and your roommates. And, and that just makes it completely worth it to play D3 football. So if you're considering playing D3, I highly suggest it. Speaking of the devil. Richard! Oh, you're filming. Say hi. Hey, how we doing? D3 football is worth it. Um, there's a lot of memories that come with D3. Um, it's a team sport, brother. Team sport, brother. I can't do the sketch on here, <laughs> brother. Can't, I can't do the sketch on here. Tuesday, Tuesday. Cut it out. Division three football just gives you an opportunity to keep competing and playing football. Like football is one of the sports that you can't just play. Basketball, you could go to any gym and play pickup basketball. And football, there's really only like a short timeline to get your time in. Like your career in football does not last forever. If you have the opportunity to play college football, 100% take it. You'll make memories that last forever. You'll be a part of something bigger than yourself and you'll meet your best friends for the rest of your life. But I'd be really curious to hear your assumptions about D3. So go comment them down below. Or if you have a question about Division Three football, I'd be happy to answer or make a whole video out of it. If you want to follow my journey as a Division Three football player, go hit subscribe, watch some of these vlogs. Shout out to Caleb Williams. The Bears is going to win the Super Bowl next year. 100% confirmed. But until next time, I'm out. Peace. I got the candle lit because that motherfucker stink, bro. Me? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs>